A Brainerd man on a walk survives a bear attack. Our Logan Gay has his harrowing story tonight. I've got four puncture wounds in my chest. Uh, my mid-back is very, very sore and stiff, and I had a huge knot on the top of my head from being lifted off the ground and basically body slammed. That was Brainerd resident Garrett DeWitt explaining the injuries he sustained after being attacked by a bear Wednesday night. What started off as a routine walk with his dogs quickly turned into an unexpected encounter with a bear and her cubs. Uh, I was walking my dogs at 10, about 10.30 at night, and as I was approaching uh, on the hill on Graydon Avenue, one of my dogs was acting up, and I happened to have a flashlight, so I looked to the right, didn't see anything, looked to the left, I didn't see anything initially, and then within a few seconds I saw this big black furry thing looking at me, and I saw the teeth, and next thing I know the bear was charging right at me. And after Dua was attacked on this very road by a bear, he proceeded to run and seek refuge at a nearby neighbor's house. As I got up to the hill, um, the neighbors opened the door and I told them I had been attacked by a bear and they said, what? And I said, I've been hit by a bear and my gray sweatshirt I had on was bloody and they let me in the house. The encounter happened around the 1900 block of Grade on Avenue. The neighborhood is known for being a peaceful, quiet community where face-to-face -face encounters with bears is quite rare. There have been bear sightings. Last fall I had seen a bear um, over off Crestview, but it ran away when I yelled at it. So I was very fortunate. Although residents are surprised about the attack, they are not concerned about future encounters. You know, it doesn't frighten me because, you know, it can happen if you run into them, you know, especially when you have cubs. For now, DeWitt plans to not walk his dogs at night until the fall. In Brainerd, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. And neither of DeWitt's dogs were harmed during the bear encounter. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.